Hi, I'm Dan Breitbarth, Engineering Manager of Control Products at Nord Drive Systems. Nord Drive Systems is one of the world's leading manufacturers of drive technology for mechanical and electronic solutions. Our wide range of products includes constant speed reducers, gear motors, industrial gear units, variable frequency drives, and motor starters for decentralized control. Nord's condition monitoring system is programmed to detect impermissible operating states within your system at an early stage. This gives the opportunity for preventative maintenance measures to be taken before a critical problem would arise. This cuts down on unplanned downtime and allows for planned maintenance to correct any undesirable operating conditions. It also provides a simple system overview of all devices when used with the dashboard. Total cost of ownership is always a factor when determining if a system is a quality investment. Nord's condition monitoring system ensures a longer service life of components and machinery, as well as predictable and cost-optimized repairs. Sensors and sensor data play a critical role to provide the basis for condition monitoring and predictive maintenance. I will now provide a demonstration of how the Nord VFD utilizes external sensors and the internal PLC to collect and transfer data to the industrial PC and dashboard. For this demo, we have uh, our 92 series helical bevel gear motor. We have a three quarter horsepower three phase motor. And we also have our decentralized drive uh, that we call the Nordak Flex. Uh, in this scenario, the Nordak Flex is mounted directly to the motor, but we can mount that remotely as well if that makes the most sense for your application. This VFD includes an internal Profinet IO communication module. Uh, it also includes uh, analog inputs that will be used with these external sensors. The two external sensors that we're using in this case are a temperature sensor, and this is to mimic or duplicate a temperature sensor that's in the motor, and we also have a vibration sensor that's mounted directly to the gearbox. The VFD will then take this information, feed it into the analog inputs, and then it will process that data uh, using the internal PLC and package it in a way that sends the data back out over the UDP channel of the Profinet network. The dashboard that we've provided here includes uh, a number of Nord VFDs and gear motors. In this case, we only have one VFD connected uh, to this system, so we are only going to talk about that one. But we can click on this drive here, and then we can see the actual status in real time of what this VFD is currently doing. So right now, the VFD is not running. But what we could do is go and look at the history of any of these different parameters, such as motor temperature. If I look at motor temperature, I can see that it's holding relatively steady right now. However, if I put my hand on this sensor here, we'll see that the temperature will begin to rise. The orange line here is the threshold in which we say that the, uh, there'll be a warning signal that will pop up. So it's saying, the motor temperature is increasing, but it's still OK to run. Uh, the user can then use this information to determine if they want to go inspect the equipment at a scheduled downtime or wait to see if it increases further beyond this. Uh, from this system here, uh, we can go back to the reports section. And we can see a history of all the different faults uh, or different alarms and warnings that popped up during this uh, time frame. So we can see what, uh, what's most recently happened. So we had a, a temperature warning here, um, but I'm going to go into the system here and reset the status of these drives. So after this happens, it'll clear out the dashboard and, and the information here and set it back to a um, uh, original state. Going back to our original VFD here. I'm going to go ahead and run the VFD. So the VFD is receiving a, a, an enable signal from the process data of the Profinet system, and it's also receiving its speed set point. So now we can see what all these different variables are showing. So now while we're running, we could maybe be interested in what's the vibration doing. So as I look at the vibration graph, we can see that right now we're really not seeing any sort of vibration feedback. However, we do see where our uh, warning threshold is. 
with the orange line, and then our alarm threshold is with the red line. If I go ahead and give it some slight bumps, we can see here that I've exceeded the warning threshold. Um, and if things continue to deteriorate, hit a little bit harder, and now we've reached a warning state. Now in this case, the VFD is gonna continue to run. Um, I've stopped it here, but this could be an indication for the uh, user to go out and see if there's some sort of a bearing issue or some, some sort of a mechanical issue that they can address earlier than later and prevent uh, a more catastrophic failure. So in this case here, the user maybe have addressed the issue, they can reset their system, and now the system will show that everything's good to go again. When working with customers on defining how the dashboard and the system would look, we would want to know specific information about their application. Uh, specifically, we would want to know how many units and what devices are going to be installed on these systems. And then we would also want to know what the IP addresses of each unit uh, would be so that when we set up the industrial PC, when it's delivered to you, all of that information has been set up. Uh, at that point, the data is going to be stored in the industrial PC. Uh, from there, it can be sent either to our proprietary dashboard or if the user has their own system that's used for data acquisition, we can also send it to them as well. Additionally, we have a free mobile app that's available for Apple and Android devices. The Nordcon app can be used to provide dashboard-based visualization for drive monitoring and fault diagnosis. You can also access any of the drive parameters and it includes help functions which gives you information of the individual parameter you're accessing. Uh, we have an oscilloscope function where you can trace up to four different variables and this can be very helpful for um, troubleshooting or commissioning your system. Uh, another neat feature of this mobile app is that it can generate a support ticket and will send an email with your parameter settings directly to one of our application engineers. Also available for a free download from Nord.com is our Nordcon software. Nordcon is a software that can be used on any Windows-based operating system and it provides a user-friendly parameterization and programming uh, interface for several devices. Uh, in this Nord software, it also includes our internal PLC editor where you can program with either structured text or instruction list. Uh, and that's the same program that we use with our condition monitoring system. Uh, we also have the ability that if you have the Nordcon software connected to the same ethernet network as the VFDs, you can tunnel through the ethernet system and access every VFD in a specific address range. To review, we've covered in this discussion what condition monitoring is, the benefits of the condition monitoring system, uh, we had a demonstration of how the system works, and we also covered the different options and customizations that are offered here at Nord Drive Systems. For more information regarding Nord's condition monitoring system or any other Nord solutions, give us a call or visit us online at www.nord.com.